Story time about why my best friend cut me off. So a little background information, I was 24 and I had a full-time job as a nurse. And I had been best friends with this girl since we were in 7th grade. As soon as she turned 21, she got married, had a kid. And just like any young tragic love story, her boyfriend, who was way older than her, left her for some girl who just turned 18. So I ended up letting her move in with me. She had too much pride to go back to her mom's house. I ended up kicking her out of my house, though because she would have random guys over 24-7, and she would smoke, you know what, in my house. So I had the cops called on me 24-7 because my neighbors could smell it. So fast forward to now, she's living with her mom. Her and I got over that fight, and she decided that she wanted to go to college. I was so proud of her, but she asked me if I could watch her kid when she had to go into school because she was doing mostly online. So of course I said yes, I wanted her to succeed, like for part two. Part three about the girl who used me to get with my guy best friend. So like I said, she asked me if I wanted to hang out with Tommy and a few other guys. I told her that I was going out of town. When I got back from out of town, the next day, I get a text from Tommy. He was flipping out on me. He said that I was talking shit about him to live. And apparently I said that I was happy that his mother died. And a bunch of other bullshit. Well, after that, Tommy cut me off, so I was lonely, and I started hanging out with Liv more, even though she said that terrible stuff to Tommy and made him cut me off. So fast forward a year, he is a new best friend, right? I get a DM from her on Instagram saying like, hey, did Tommy used to be your best friend? Pretty much everybody knew what happened between me and Tommy, but she was like, that girl that you're best friends with is dating him now, and then he completely cut me off. So technically, she used both her and I to get with Tommy. But after dating for literally like two months, he cheated on her because she slept with five other guys. Story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy. So a little background information. I was 15 and it was my freshman year of high school. And I had been dating this guy for three months who we're going to call Jacob. He was a part of the popular group and was known for cheating on all his past girlfriends. But why would I see that as a red flag? Because I'm fucking dumb. Anyways, of course he was cheating on me too, and people would tell me that. At first I wanted to leave him, but the problem was he came from a super rich family and he was really cute. So in reality, I really only wanted to stay with him so that way he would keep spoiling me with expensive gifts. He would literally buy me anything and everything I wanted. So my best friend, who we can call Taylor, she came over for a sleepover. The whole night we talked about Jacob cheating on me and she asked me why I had not broken up with him yet. So I told her why I wouldn't leave and then she hyped me up. She was like, period, sis, do what you gotta do. Well, then I came up with this super good plan for my best friend and i both to get gifts from him and use him so then i came out and i said you should be a side chick like for part two part two about how my best friend and i were dating the same guy so like i said before he was cheating on me 24 7 but he was spending money on me 24 7 that's the reason why i wouldn't leave him so then i told my best friend that she should be his side chick so that way we could both use him for his money so taylor started flirting with him to try and make him want her too and i may have given it a little push by giving her his Snapchat, so she tried to slide in his DMs and then also tried texting him on Snapchat. At first, his cheating ass did not want to do anything with her. And I was like, the one time. The one time. Anyways, he was like, I'm with your best friend right now. I don't think we should do this. But of course, like all boys who cheat, he ended up meeting up with her. And they started sneaking around. Meanwhile, I knew all the tea. Taylor was telling me everything. Taylor started getting things from him 24-7, and he looked so stupid. Well, then we decided to fuck with him one more time. Like for part three. Story time about how my best friend and I were dating the same guy at the same time. So like I said, she was sneaking around with him. Meanwhile, she was telling me everything. He was buying her gifts. He was buying me gifts. So everything was perfect. But we had one little trick left up our sleeves. We decided that we would both make a wish list and put everything that we wanted on there. And at the end of the month, we would have a sleepover, bring everything that we got. Well, on the night of the sleepover, we brought everything. And let me tell you, this filled up my king-size bed. There was stuff all on the floor. So what did I do? I took a video of it and I uploaded it to Instagram, tagging him and his friends and wrote a long-ass caption, basically saying, if you cross me, this is what will happen. You'll get played. He was so embarrassed, his friends and everyone at school basically laughed at his dumb ass. Well, he ended up telling his mommy about it, and they came and talked to my parents, and they pretty much just told them to get the fuck over it, like your son did what he did willingly. She didn't do anything wrong. She meaning me. My dad was kind of mad at me, but my mom was super impressed about it, and we laugh about it all the time. Story time, my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. 
So a little background information, I was 18 and a freshman in college. So my boyfriend and I have been dating for three years going on four. And we were pretty much what you call a very toxic relationship. We would break up with each other, then get back together five minutes later. I would say that it's all really my boyfriend's fault. Because instead of spending time with me, he would rather go out to the club and sleep with any whore that he could find. But he would always start an argument with me before he went to the club so that way he had a reason to cheat on me. And he's been doing this ever since we first started dating. I don't know why I didn't take that as a red flag, but I'm a dumb bitch who lacks common sense and is completely blind to red flags. So I started a private Snapchat, but I used it as almost like an OnlyFans. Except it was free. I added a bunch of guys on there and my boyfriend's cousins. His one cousin was my best friend and would low-key hype me up. Like for part two. Part two about how my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. So like I said, I made this private Snapchat that was basically like an OnlyFans. And I had his cousin on there who was low-key my best friend. And he would low-key always hype me up on my thirst traps. So eventually I sent him a whole nude picture of myself. His cousin had a girlfriend, but neither of us were going to tell our significant others. And I told his cousin that I would sleep with him if he cheats on me again. Well, what do you know? A few nights later, he calls me starting an argument before he goes to the club. So I go to bed. I'm bawling my eyes out. And he calls me at 3 in the morning asking for me to get an Uber for him and some friends. But I hear a girl talking in the back. So obviously I gave him a hard time about it. So he hangs up on me, calls me 20 minutes later, and I hear this girl talking in Spanish in the background. Me being me, I assume the worst. I assume that he cheated on me. So he calls me the next day saying that we need to talk. I go over there. He says he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Life for part three. Part three about how my boyfriend cheated on me, so I cheated on him with his cousin. So like I said, he calls me over to his house. He says that I'm the problem in the relationship. I'm the reason why he cheats on me 24-7. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I leave and I go to his cousin's house and his cousin kind of does the deed on me. After that, I leave because I really wasn't trying to do the nasty. So a few weeks later, my boyfriend texts me saying, I need to talk to you, da-da-da. And we're not together at this point, mind you. And he's like, hey, like, I just feel like you're really not being honest with me. Like, I want to get back together, but I feel like you're unfaithful. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? You literally cheat on me 24-7. So I give him my phone to go through it. I thought I deleted everything, but I didn't delete a conversation between my best friend and I. So I'm bawling my eyes out, turn on my game face for lying. And I'm like, I swear to God, like, I didn't cheat on you. It was a prank. But he did the nasty with that girl, so I think we're even. So obviously I got back with him and we've been together for four years.